All right, well, you can see the toolbox is in a different shop entirely. Um, gap tuning is no more. So I guess I'm a free agent for the moment. Um, <laughs> could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. But regardless, let me show you a new toy I picked up. This doesn't look like much from the side, but it is a 1955, 57, 60s era Klausing 12 inch by 40 inch metal lathe. Picked it up from a guy in Pendleton for honestly not a whole lot of money. Um, <laughs> drove three hours there. Actually got to hang out with my dad for a little bit. Um, picked it up, drove three hours back in the bed of the F-150. Only had to stop once to grab straps at Walmart there in Pendleton to keep it from wiggling around too much. But here we are with it here at the in-laws house. Um, you can see my welding coat there, my welder, the toolbox, my other toolbox. There's another toolbox behind that, little green one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if you want anything turned, like shift knobs, custom shifters, whatever, I'll have all that on the website down below uh, in the description. So from there, let me quote George Sprov and let me show you its features. Um, four threads per inch up to 224 threads per inch. It's uh, what do you call it, nine positions, forward and reverse. Weird. Um, it's in forward gear right now. You got your forward and reverse selector there. Spindle, obviously, the back gear handle there. Two speed pulley set, basically, you pick up on the motor and you can change your pulley speed. Um, the in gear and out gear for changing which chart to use. See so sliding gear in, sliding gear out. Center left and right is this lever here, which I mean, that all works. It's just the gears are in the wrong position for it. Um, power cross and then power feed. That all works. I've verified that. I've, I've played with it actually. Um, half nut, threading dial, a tailstock that I've reconditioned and is now buttery smooth with minimal backlash, if any. Jibs are all jib or gib. I think they're called gibs. Gibs are all tight and smooth, not too beat up. This one's a little tight out this way, but I think the nut for the slide needs to be repositioned slightly. As you can see, I get a little bit of wiggle there, so I need to play with the gib some more. But the, uh, what do they call that? Cross slide? Cross slide's tight. The whole apron assembly needs adjusted, and I need to figure out how that works still. Um, that I've had for engine building forever, a couple of years now. Picked up a soft hammer, an oil can, the wire brush I've had, a pair of safety glasses, always handy. It came with not that and not that or that came with not one drawer of random tooling but two drawers of random tooling and a milling attachment so what the milling attachment does is it replaces the uh, compound tool rest whatever you want to call it um, in addition to that which I actually I want to play with that still um, came with a steady rest, a 
bench grinder is mine. I bought that for sharpening tungstens and haven't replaced the wheel for it yet. <clears throat> anyway, um, steady rest I've already used. Quite nice, pretty handy. And a four jaw chuck. So this is actually a threaded spindle. So it only goes one direction uh, forward, counterclockwise. Can't run it in reverse or it falls off from what I've heard. <laughs> because it doesn't have a gland nut and nothing to lock it in place, it unthreads itself. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, but it is easy to put the four jaw on and run it. It works really well, actually. Um, I'm not gonna pull the housing off. That's cast iron and weighs like 30 or 40 pounds. In here, there's an additional set of pulleys. So, what is that? Three speeds, so it's six speeds for the spindles. Spindle, sorry. Well, no, actually it's more than that because of the back gear. So, 12. 12 speeds, something like that. It does have an old mechanical back gear lock, which locks the spindle and lets the back gears run. Um, this lever here is actually a clutch mechanism. So it's got a brake shoe here that probably needs replaced that grips the pulleys to keep it from spinning. But there's a cone, a conical cut clutch in here that works on the lever. So you can stop and start the spindle with the motor running. So far, I've been pretty happy with it. Um, for as old as it is, everything is nice and straight, true. I did have to clean it up some, naturally. But, uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So, with that, I will leave that off and close this video out. It looks like I'm sweating like a dog. It's actually like 100 degrees here today. So, inside the building, it's a little hotter than that. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video if you want. I might go through and show how to adjust everything on that, mainly the apron, because I have yet to find any videos, and I had to figure it out myself. So, it may be helpful for, for others. Um, that being said, thanks for watching.